تمام ساتھی جو لائن پر موجود ہے ایک بار پھر یا علی مدد وی ول اسٹارٹ آور علمی سیشن فور دس ایوننگ آور ٹوڈیز لیکچر از اباؤٹ دی نالج دی نیڈ آف دی نالج ان آور طریقہ دی امپورٹنس آف نالج ان آور طریقہ ان امام فرمان There is one thing you will hear more than any other subject and that is the subject of knowledge, of education, of ilm, of understanding. When Imam talks about the education and the knowledge, he is talking about the circular knowledge and education and his the religion and the understanding of our tariqa as well when we hear imam sharman where he talks about the educating our children and education is for lifetime and he talks about the continue education it is not only the circular edu- education where we will go to schools and colleges and we will educate ourselves so we can make money and live in big houses even though there is nothing wrong with it but that is not the only purpose of the farman because imam is our spiritual father he guide us in this physical world he is here to guide us spiritually so the need and the importance of the knowledge in our tariqa is the center point and essential to our being ismaili and follower of the imam because without the knowledge of our tariqa without having the knowledge of the imam of the time we may be following our tariqa but in a very limited way because our understanding of our tariqa would be limited due to the lack of knowledge due to not understanding our tariqa due to not understanding imam's farman I wanted to remind you of two farameen one of the imam aga sultan mamasha in his 48 jama says the soul with the knowledge will enhance and increase their ranks step by step an imam in our current jama in 489 jama imam has emphasized on knowledge and the ilm more than any other subject in his 62 plus years of imamat especially during the golden jubilee years Imam has emphasized on the recognition of the Imam. How do we recognize the Imam? How do we understand the Imam? Only way we can do that if we have the true and the correct knowledge of our tariqa and our Imam of the time. 
if you look at our history all our peers has done is leave us ginan ginan and ginan which is full of knowledge full of ilm of our tariqa full of batin and how to get to the nur of the imam how to understand our tariqa and how to recognize the imam what to do and what not to do that is the imam and that is the peace guidance to the followers to the smileys and if you look at the quran you will find very many ayat that talks about the knowledge we'll talk about the sirat al mustaqim we'll talk about the steps we'll talk about the miraj with all this understanding what do we have at the end in our hand is how can we as a follower of the imam of zaman how do we read his farman how do we follow his farman and how do we get closer to the nur of the imam with the true knowledge one can understand our tariqa benefit more from our dua our tazwiyat our ibadat our majalis and all the other things we do in our regular rites and ritual with the good understanding and good knowledge without the good understanding and good knowledge we can continue to follow our tariqa without any understanding without receiving any benefit from it because if we don't understand we may be doing something which may not be 100% correct or 100% on the way we are supposed to be following and at the end we will not benefit from it the way we should benefit from it if we are saying our dua understanding the meaning of the dua is important if you say our tasbihat understanding those tasbihat are important if we do our ibadat and we have received this mehazam from the imam of the time then understanding that is mehazam and way of doing ibadat is important to us all the rites and rituals that we follow we must understand them first and then when we follow it two things will happen first we will be happy inside ourselves we will be satisfied with the action we have taken otherwise sometime we go to jamasana and we come back from jamasana and we just follow as a robot we just go and we come back without knowing anything without any happiness without any satisfaction we should ask ourselves why because lack of understanding because we don't understand the things that goes on inside the jamasana in our tariqa so if someone ask you especially your children or your friends what does this dua means how come we don't recite namaz how come we give the son 12 and a half percent how come we don't go for hajj how come we don't do roza or we don't observe roza like other muslim brother and sisters how will you answer those things to your children only way possible is 
if you have educated yourself in our tariqa as per imam's wish and that is the firman of the imam that is the wish of the imam that we understand our tariqa we know the meaning of the dua and everything we do in our tariqa and with that understanding we can definitely benefit from the rites and ritual the kiriyas and the majalis that we are observing in our tariqa in our jamaatana even a smallest thing as saying has in da we need to understand what it means even the smallest thing as dua karani nandi awal sofro niyaz sukrit chanta the things that we see every day and we just follow it because our parents followed it never had asked a question never understood why we may have some notion of it but truly do we understand all the rites and rituals in our tariqa if your answer is i know some and i don't know all then that is our task today to learn as question and move forward in our tariqa because our tariqa is very beautiful our tariqa and we as an ismaili we are blessed with imam's guidance and with the living imam and his nur no other tariqa can say that that they have a living imam but definitely as an ismaili we can say we have a living guide we have a living imam we have a living nur and we have a beautiful tariqa and we have a beautiful rites and rituals but with the highest and most understanding we will be able to say that and we will be able to benefit from it so when we go to jamaatana inshallah soon when jamaatana will open when we go there when we say hey zinda we should know the true meaning of it what are we saying why we saying it what are the benefit from it what about the building of the jamaatana what about the shoes company what about the volunteerism we should know the answer to all of them but the knowledge the ilm is on steps the ilm ki ek seedhi hoti hai ilm is on the steps so step by step we can understand our tariqa step by step we can receive the knowledge and step by step we can move forward in understanding of our tariqa in understanding of the imam in the understanding of all the kiriyas that we perform on daily basis but it is important for us to learn in Diamond Jubilee Farman in Karachi in December 2017 Maulana Hazrat Imam Salawatullah Alayhi repeated the importance of the ilm in one of his farman in which he repeated ilm 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 11 times it shows the importance of the ilm and our tariqa In Quran it says Rabbi inni zidni ilma Oh my lord increase me in my knowledge 
and in very many places allah talks about the people of the knowledge are the one who would understand the creation and imam in his farman says that when you have the worldly knowledge it is there to benefit you in your physical life but more so it is there for you to understand the creation of the allah do we see that how important knowledge is in a small example that i like to give when our child turns 5 6 year old it is the wish of the parent and they look forward to it to send their kids to the schools so they could be educated without any question without anybody telling us that you should be sending your children to the school and then colleges so they will be well educated but have we done the same with our kids and ourselves when it comes to the religion how many time do we emphasize how many time we pay attention to the knowledge and the ilm of our tariqa and the importance of our tariqa the reason we send our children to school so they may be well educated and they may have a beautiful comfortable life what about the life after will they take their homes and money with them how come we don't teach them or emphasize on the religious education and make sure they are well off in the tariqa and understanding of the imam so they may live comfortably here after as well kyunki wo zindagi jo hai wo bahut lambi zindagi hai compared to that ye zindagi jo hai ye bahut choti zindagi hai so we are forcing and emphasizing and doing anything and everything for a temporary life but we are not doing anything for the life which is forever and ever the long lasting life hereafter who will call you a smart intelligent person if you only run after the temporary things and let go or forget the permanent thing now that's not very smart when imam is giving us the farman for the knowledge and education he want us to have a worldly circular education as well as the dini and religion education so we may have this life as comfortable as well but also to have our life after as easy and comfortable as possible it has to be both sided we cannot leave dunya for din and we cannot leave din for the dunya that is the balance kyunki agar hum sirf dunya ki fikr karte hain then is not a balance if we give 8 hour to our physical life have we given 8 hour to our religious life then how can we say that we have balance deen and dunya and that is the imam's farman to keep a balance between your deen and dunya so inshallah we will try to learn we will try to understand we will try to recognize the imam of the time as imam wish as all our peers ginan and all the farameen inshallah 
सो आई विल स्टॉप हियर उम्मीद है कि आप इस बात पर गौर करेंगे एंड देन होपफुली यू विल हैव सम क्वेश्चन टू एस्क इन फ्यूचर क्लासेस एंड इनशाला यू विल फाइंड द बुक्स द गिनान एंड द लेक्चर्स विच कैन टीच यू मोर अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस एंड द नीड ऑफ द नॉलेज इन आवर तरीका तमाम साथियों को या अली मदद होप यू ऑल आर आर वेल इन द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द इमाम जमान या अली मदद या अली मदद